Well, the northbound lanes that were closed here along I-75 reopened around 2.30 this afternoon, hours after that tragic accident. Investigators are not exactly sure what happened out here today. All they know is that two people got out of their car to change a flat tire. That's when they were struck by nearly a half dozen vehicles. This is the scene from CBS Atlanta's Sky Eye as investigators try to reconstruct the deadly accident here along I-75. Morrow police say the driver of this blue car got a flat tire. He and a passenger pulled into the gore, the V-shaped area between the on-ramp and Interstate 75 northbound. It transpired very quickly. Several vehicles were trying to get onto I-75 uh, when this collision occurred and several uh, people did make contact with the victims in this case. We're told the two were possibly hit by a half dozen other drivers. One person died at the scene. The other was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Police say all the drivers involved did stop. The deadly accident backed up traffic for miles as police tried to piece together exactly what happened. They're still deciding if anyone should face charges, but authorities do have this warning that could save your life. I would advise anyone when they're changing their tire, if they do have a flat, to try to move far, far to the right side of the shoulder of the interstate. If you have any problem, you don't feel safe to get out of your car, please call us. Call 911. We'll send an officer to you to assist you. Now, we learned just moments ago the two who were struck were brother and sister. They are from out of state, though police are offering no further details at this time. The female is the one who died here. Her brother is at Grady Hospital this afternoon in critical condition. We are live in Clayton County. Renee Starzik, CBS Atlanta News. Sad story. Thank you, Renee.